Hiya, I'm Shelley. I work at the University of Wolverhampton in Stafford, where I am the STEM ambassador. And Stafford Library have asked me to do a video for the Summer Reading Challenge. And this year's theme is Silly Squad. So I had to think, and I thought, hmm, silly video. I know, I will show you how poo is made in the human body. So basically, the first thing I want to say is, if you were to think about the shape of a human body, you might say something like, oh, it's a sausage, or like round or something like that. But really, it's more like a ring donut, because we have a hole that goes through the middle, from our mouth down to our bottom. So it's a journey along this path that we're going to discuss today. All right, so we're going to start off in the mouth. Right, I've got some food here. So I've got basic breakfast and dinner. So the first thing I would have for breakfast, this is on mouth by the way, the first thing we would have for breakfast is porridge. Yeah. Okay. Now with my porridge, I would normally have a banana. So when you get your banana, you don't just stick it in a hole in your mouth, do you? You bite it. And the first thing you do is bite it with your front teeth, which are called your incisors. Now, your incisors work like scissors. So I've got some scissors here, and we're going to chop this up as if we are biting the banana. Okay? Now, I would normally, because I'm a little bit naughty, have a bit of chocolate sauce on there. I'm going to put a little splodge that in. And a black coffee. There we are. So now for lunch, I would possibly have a tuna mayonnaise sweet corn sandwich. So again, if we chop this up, pretending this is our front teeth. Okay, nice bites there. Okay, and then um, I would possibly have for a drink at lunchtime something like apple juice. So I'm going to pop a little bit of apple juice into our stomach as well. Okay, so when um, when it's gone past the incisors and it goes to the back of your mouth here, okay, it goes to the molars and the molars grind your food, right? So I'm going to mimic that with a potato masher. All right, here we go. I'm going to mash it all around. Now, this isn't just to make it um, smaller to swallow. It's because in your mouth you've got saliva, and the saliva has um, enzymes in it. And one of the enzymes it has in it is called amylase. Now, amylase breaks down the starch into glucose. That's the start of your digestion. Okay, so that's all mushed up. Now, it gets pushed to the back of your mouth, and it goes down your throat. Okay, now, what happens is you've got your larynx, which is where you breathe, and that closes off and basically it stops your breathing while you're eating so you don't choke. And the food goes past that, down the esophagus, to the sphincter at the top of your stomach. Okay, so to represent our stomach, I've got a Ziploc bag. Right, so our food is gonna enter the stomach, which is my Ziploc bag. So pretend this is a sphincter, it opens up, right, and it allows the food to go in. Pour that in there. Oh yeah, okay. Now, the sphincter uh, closes off, okay? Keep the food in the stomach. Now the stomach is a muscly organ, and what it does is it churns the food, okay? It churns it all together, and it includes um, gastric enzymes, proteases that break down proteins, okay? And um, also gastric acid which kills bacteria and stuff. So this gastric acid and enzymes, they um, mix with the food, and this is now called chyme, okay? So once that's all mixed together, what it does is it goes down to the duodenum, which is the small intestine, okay? So let's pass this through to the small intestine. Right, so I have got this to represent the small intestine. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna chop the end of this off, all right? And we're going to pop our chyme into the duodenum or the small intestine. Now, this small intestine, what it does is it um, absorbs most of the nutrients here. Okay, 
and uh, it's got these things called microvilli or villi inside it, which are like little hairs that increase the surface area for you to get your vitamins and minerals and things like that. So if we pop all this chime in here. Ooh. What it also does is it neutralizes it because you've got the gastric acids. These enzymes don't want to work in the acidic conditions. So it neutralizes that so that the enzymes can work. Right, what's our small intestine full? So from there, it then goes onto the colon, which is the large intestine. In this small intestine, bile is added to break down lipids, which are your fat. So bile is made in your liver and then it goes to your gallbladder, but it's added into the small intestine to help you break down those fats. Right from the duodenum or the small intestine, it goes into your colon. So to represent that, I've got some tights. So the large intestine is shorter than the small intestine, but it's wider. OK, um, and as the food moves through your body, it uses this peristalsis motion like that. It's a bit like a worm when it wriggles. It kind of squishes food along the system. So it's like waves of contractions like this. Okay. So that happens throughout the whole digestion process. So now the food, the chyme even, is now inside your large intestine. This is where most of the water is absorbed. So if you see, ooh, the water and the salts get absorbed here, okay? And there's also a lot of bacteria in here, which um, do things like, basically, like uh, vitamin K is made by these bacteria that are in your gut. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna squeeze all this water and salts out of our chyme, and it is now called feces. And what it does is it goes down to your rectum, which is like a storage chamber. And you have these stretch receptors in this um, rectum. And basically, when they get stretched, they send signals to your brain that you need to go for a poo. So it then travels down to your anus. OK, so I will go and get the anus. Right, to represent the anus, I have some cups. So what we're going to do is get this feces out of our large intestine and we're going to pop it into our anus. Eee. There we go. I think this is going to be a bit of a sloppy poop. There we go. Okay. All right. Now, what you've got in your anus is you've got some sphincters. You've got an internal and an external one. And when they open up, basically what happens is you go for a poo. You ready? Oh! Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Gross, huh? So that basically is how poo is made in the human body. We've even got sweet corn in this. <laughs> right, so I hope you've enjoyed that video. You can have a go yourself at home if you want to make all this mess. Um, and I hope you enjoy your summer reading challenge. All right, as always, stay safe, take care, bye.